Welcome everybody, we're at the Piddick Mansion, 16,000 square foot home. Some of the 11 family members on rainy days would lace up their roller skates and take to the third floor and just skate around. Welcome everybody, I'm Ken Ackerman, this is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, when your kids grow up, what do they want to be? Astronauts, paleontologists, firemen, pirate. Well, maybe not pirates, but if they wanted to become a pirate, we have the guy well, that can make that come true. Please welcome Ross McKean, who's the managing director of the Oregon Children's Theater. You nice have a play coming up. We do. We've got a play called How I Became a Pirate, mm -hmm. which is based on a very popular book about a young boy who is recruited into a pirate band. He loves playing soccer, and one day he's out on the playground, and a pirate group arrives and they need a digger to join them in the crew and he joins He on. left the soccer game to join a band yep, of pirates. Yep, he loves soccer but he was curious about becoming a pirate so he signed up to become a digger with a promise of a share of the treasure and uh, adventure starts and music and song and he learns sea shanties and he learns that he can't say please and thank you when he's a pirate he's got to say arg and things yeah. like that. Uh, and he, there's a little mutiny plan because one of the pirates isn't so happy with having to share the treasure with oh. this kid. And he decides somewhere along the line whether he wants to go back to his soccer team and his family or go on and be a pirate. Well, don't so tell us the ending. I won't tell you the ending. Now, so. Oregon Children's Theater, you would think by hearing that that these are a bunch of children in this play. Is that the case? No, we do have, we do have a couple of kids in the play. Um, Oregon Children's Theater, um, our mission is to produce professional theater for a young audience. So all of our actors are professionals and we do what we call age-appropriate casting, which is we cast adults in adult roles and kids in kids roles. So uh, Dylan Earhart, who plays the pirate, is 10 years old. He's very talented. He's in a play we've just finished called Diary of a Worm, A Spider and a Fly. He played Ant. Uh, very hilarious kid, very talented. So he talented. didn't get top billing. There was Spider Fly. Yeah, he wasn't even he on was the Ant. title. He was Ant, but he had some kung fu moves, and uh -huh. he was very talented, and he's going to be pirate for us. Um, but he's professional. We pay him, and just like we pay the adult actors, and uh, he works eight shows a week. He does two school matinees three days a week and, and four uh, family shows on weekends, so he, he works hard. Does he have time to go to school? He does. Now, he being 10, he's, his workload at school, it's a little easier for him to get out of school for like our school matinees, but we've had teens in shows that uh, show ends at 1 o'clock for a school matinee. They've got to head off to school and catch up on their homework and, and mm -hmm. uh, fit it into their schedule, but they're kids that are passionate about the work and professionals and have confidence and poise. It's just an amazing group. Now, you also have an acting academy. We do. And uh, that's open mostly, I mean, to kids. Right. Yeah. We have classes for four-year-olds four up until through teens. We have a teen program that we call our young professionals. There are teens that are really serious about the craft and learning how to act. They put on a couple of their own shows in a small studio space we have. But we also have classes. We have a fairy tale theater or a Harry Potter make a musical kind of uh, uh, classes for kids. Any level of, of, of skill. Um, and we have sequential curriculum that as they develop those foundations for acting, they can build on that over time. Um, but it's great for little kids and builds you know, lots of confidence building. I was going to say, if a child doesn't want to be an actor and a parent just wants maybe to instill a little more confidence or, or break out of a shy mode, this would help. This is great. I mean, it gives them confidence to stand in front of a group. We tell people that kids that have gone through the program, especially the teens, are poised so that they can walk up to somebody in a job interview and stick out their hand and say hi and introduce themselves. And I'm just amazed with even, even the young kids that have gone through the program, that, that sense of confidence and poise that they have. Just being able to do public speaking and stand up in front of a group is um, a skill that lasts them a lifetime. All right. Well, more information is available on your website, octc.org. That's right. And uh, How I Became a Pirate it starts when? April 30th, okay. um, and it runs about four weekends. We'll have lots of school groups coming during the week, but uh, we'll have matinees. Most of our shows run about an hour, okay. uh, no intermissions, so it's about the right attention span for kids. Uh, even four-year-olds can make it through one of our shows, and there's lots of music and colorful costumes in this play. It's a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'm a little shy, as you can tell, so I maybe need some <laughs> training. Make it a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Take care.